Caviar is a food that comes from the unfertilized eggs of the female sturgeon, a species that lives in cold waters and is one of the oldest on the planet. Remind, we have a giveaway of a $100 valued item of your choice for the first 1,000 subscribers. Hurry up and don't miss it. For years, Caspian sea sturgeons were fished without any kind of control, resulting in overfishing of the species and its near extinction. As a result, the scarcity of sturgeon leads to a very high price for caviar, which few can afford to consume. Nowadays, most of the caviar consumed and marketed comes from farms of natural and adapted waters for sturgeon cultivation. The gestation period for sturgeons is between 15 and 20 years. The scarcity of availability and the danger of extinction make it a product for very privileged palates. Beluga caviar contains larger eggs and the sturgeon maturation process can take up to 20 years. This is one of the main reasons why this type of caviar is so expensive. This type of caviar has a good creamy flavor and a delicate texture and is seen by many as a sign of wealth and a true delicacy. Although not everyone agrees with the flavor, some find it too salty and others find it disgusting. The sturgeon is monitored from the first moment of its life until the extraction of the sturgeon eggs. The idea is to imitate their life in freedom but with the advantage of not having threats, which makes it possible to control optimal nutrition and impeccable quality and temperature of the waters for the well-being of the fish throughout the year. Through ultrasounds, we know the optimal state of the female for the extraction of sturgeon eggs at the appropriate time. Each sturgeon usually gives between 10 and 12% of its weight in eggs. Caviar is a food very rich in proteins, so it is optimal for muscular development. This delicacy has been the appetizer of the privileged for a long time, enjoyed for centuries by Roman emperors, Arab sheikhs, and English kings. A small bite still offers the taste of the good life. Caviar is often called black gold, and with good reason. A teaspoon costs more than a meal in some family restaurants. For most of us, a bit of caviar is a great extravagance. This factory has been producing caviar for over 50 years. Located in the southern United States, it has one of the best climates in the world. Overfishing has impoverished wild Siberian sturgeon populations, so this U.S. hatchery creates the species to obtain eggs and meat. The fry are fed high-protein pills. Sturgeon farming needs to be fed constantly to grow, so a computerized system dispenses food every four minutes. As the fish grow, the feeding program is reduced. Fish produce tiny metabolites that are toxic to them, which are filtered with an introduced bacteria. The team routinely checks the tank water to ensure that the bacteria is doing its job. After a few months of growth, they are moved to larger tanks. Here, sieves enter the waste they produce, and the water constantly bubbles to move the plastic beads containing the important filtration bacteria. The water circulation also disperses the carbon dioxide emitted by the fish and introduces the oxygen they need to survive and develop. The molasses injected into the tanks is consumed by beneficial bacteria helping to process the harmful metabolites produced by the fish. After five years of growth, they measure at least one meter long and should be filled with eggs. The workers transfer them to tanks where they mix a gas that puts the fish to sleep. Once sedated, they can be handled more easily and taken to the ultrasound machine. By using ultrasound, the female's ovaries are inspected to give them a clear image of their egg production. They should contain tens of thousands of eggs, but if not, the female is returned to the tank to mature. If the female is ready, her ovaries are harvested, cleaned of eggs, and placed into a refrigerated room with filtered air. This is just one of the two ovaries of a Siberian sturgeon, and the mass of eggs will become caviar. These eggs are extremely fragile and require careful handling to separate them from the membrane. The worker carefully rubs the eggs against a metal screen, removes the tissue that will be used for compost, and lifts the screen, revealing the thousands of delicate sturgeon eggs. However, this caviar is not yet ready. 
Afterwards, they are quickly rinsed with cold water to remove any impurities, such as broken eggs or tissue residue, the pieces of membrane, and broken eggs are then removed with tweezers until the caviar is pure and perfect. The eggs are poured into a fine strainer, and as the water drains, the volume decreases. The drained caviar is then weighed and salt is added in a ratio of 35% of the caviar's weight. This precise salting maximizes the aroma of the caviar and substantially extends its shelf life. Later, the eggs are placed on ice for about six minutes to absorb the salt and then drained again to remove excess moisture. The excess moisture is dried with a paper towel and the towel is carefully removed, leaving the caviar pearls intact. Then it is packaged in a can and pressed to eliminate any air pockets that could cause oxidation or deterioration. Finally, the can is sealed with a thick rubber band and distributed to supermarkets worldwide. This process has taken many years to obtain this caviar produced in farms without annihilating wild fish to supply the market. This means that we should develop an appetite for something much more sustainable. Remember to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like if you liked it.